update. I've been communicating with all of you about some questions you asked last summer about the Bevatron demolition, and that project has started. Um, and um, we begin, we will begin ship, shipments through the city in the fall, um, per following all the state, federal, and local laws that we talked about with you all uh, last summer. And we just wanted to, to say that um, we're here to answer any questions or any concerns you might have. We're very happy to meet with you um, about, about any of the issues. We have been meeting with the Transportation Department, um, in particular in the city manager's office, about our transportation issues around the Bevatron. And we are committed to working collaboratively with the city and the residents of the city to, to do this in a responsible manner. Um, and we look forward to the day. We're projecting that the Bevatron will be completely demolished by 2011. Um, and hopefully that, that will be some space that perhaps we can use in the future for other purposes. So thank you very much. What will be the weight of a loaded truck uh, on the street? They the weight, and I'll have to get back to you, they, they, they vary very greatly. Um, we've talked to the city, we do have some projected oversized and overweight loads by state standards, and we're talking with the city about where those should go because of the fact that University Avenue is being repaved, and so we want to make sure that we're not um, impacting that newly repaved road. That's the city's request. Would the, would the university, or would the lab be willing to uh, figure out the cost of damage to our roads and reimburse the city for that? Coming up the University Avenue. It is something that we can, um, we certainly will, will can entertain if you're interested in this. Thank you. We've actually raised that as a lab director. Acting lab director. Thank you. We've raised that issue. Okay, thank you very much.